Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the Mothership three string shovel guitar. And this is how I do lowrider. Um, I did a video for this, so definitely please take a look at the companion video and I, I'll throw a link down in the uh, show notes. Uh, so the way I play this tune has four parts in it. So the first part is just playing an open G. Oh my friends, know the low rider. That's very simple. You're just droning on this this G chord. Okay. Then the second part is the bass. Do 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 do. The third part is. Then the fourth part. Okay, so let's take these parts one at a time. Okay? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. These are wound electric guitar strings, and I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube. And at the end of the video, I'll show you that. This is my shovel. So uh, this was built by Richard Newland, just to let you know. It's got a good uh, distorted tone to it. So, first part. Oh, my friends. So a lot of how I play is this down, up. I use a little bit of palm muting when I come down, as opposed to I'm hitting it a little bit with my palm. And when I come down, I'm focused on hitting that low G. And when I come up, I'm hitting that treble high G. And I'm not necessarily worried about hitting the D string in the middle, but if I do inadvertently, it's fine. If you need a more explanation on how to do this, I've got workshop um, on my website, a shovel workshop. It's specifically designed for the shovel. And uh, please take a look at the link down below. It, it will make you a better player, especially on these fretless instruments like this shovel. So the next part is what we're going to do is we're going to play some individual notes so what I'm doing is, is I'm specifically hammering onto this note here. One, two, three. Hit those. And then I play the open D string right there. And then I'm going to play this third fret and this fifth fret. So it's open. Three, five, six, open D, three, five, or you can do open. This technique of hitting these individual notes takes a little bit of practice. It actually may take a lot of practice. It's, it's not that easy. And uh, the fact that we have a fretless here and it's so, so much off the, um, you know, basically what the neck would be, we can actually hit these notes. I'm just hitting it. And if you notice, I'm hitting it not flat, I'm hitting just that. You can see the angle of the slide right there, okay? So uh, that's what I'm doing. 
And then when I hit this D string, I'm gonna have to hit all the strings. So I mute with this these fingers. So I'm actually touching with these fingers here and muting these outside strings. So another technique. So that's what it is, is open three, five, six, open D, three, five. So that's part two. Part three. So we're working with the treble G string and we're going to go to four. So four, five, and six. A little bit of vibrato on that. So it's o uh, then open four five four open now I thought that sounded a bit thin when I was playing it with the kick drum and the hi-hat like I do. So I started playing it with these two notes. And then come up to this 12. So I'm using these two strings, the D and the treble G. And I think it added a fullness to it that's really nice, but it's really four, five, Six, open, four, five, four, open, and then come up to 12. Part four is the F chord and the G chord. The F chord is up here in this area. So G is open, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. F is somewhere up in here and you have to kind of guess it in. So work your way up to it. And that's how I do it. I just I guess by listening. Um, your ear is going to tell you a lot more about where these little places are on the fret on the fretboard you know uh where these places are and so listen listen to it and find it but work your way into it <laughs> It's okay to be off a little bit. That's what the beauty of having a shovel is. You're not exactly perfect, but everybody that listens to this is going to know what you're up to. And that's what's, you know, the communication of your instrument to your audience. It's that communication. So you are telling this little lowrider song, this lowrider story to your audience. You're giving them the... <laughs> audience knows that. You're giving that to your audience. They've heard this before. They're accepting that they're getting it on a shovel and very cool with that. Now the... So you're giving them that as well. These are familiar phrases that your audience will know. Singing and playing this. So when you're going, oh my friends of no rider, you have to be ready to hit that phrase or skip it. Don't don't be halfway with it. So make sure
then you can play with a little and right do things like that and really have fun with this but remember if there's only four parts to it you know and uh just that drone g intro they're just where you're playing and you're singing low rider parts then the dun 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 right and then the dun 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 the horn part and then they take a little trip with me and then some <laughs> stuff like that and it's golden you're gonna have a great time with this tune um, like I said earlier, if you need more specific help playing your shovel, my uh, shovel workshop is the way to go. It's beginner friendly. It'll talk to you about how canted your slide on your shovel should be and how easy that makes it and lots of these techniques that'll start making these songs a lot easier for you to play. But if you just want to dive right in, go right ahead. Have fun with your shovel and, and play and watch the companion video. We're a 100% donation channel here. So you are the ones that keep the lights on, keep the electricity going, keep the heat on. We're starting to use heat now in the mothership. It's getting chilly outside. So these are the things that you help us do. You keep the lights on. That's a really good analogy. Everything that we have here, it's because of you. And thank you so much. There's some donation links, PayPal and Square down below. Take a look at those. Take a look at the companion video link and all the other links, you know. You can see what I've got going on for the shovel as well as other slide stuff. If it's in a slide playlist, on my YouTube channel, you can move that right into the shovel. I mean, a slide is a slide, fretless is fretless. So just kind of remember those things. And uh, let me show you what uh, settings I have going on here in the cube. So you can see that really fast. So uh, here we go. Uh, my gain is at three quarter. I'm on the Brit combo. My tone is straight up. And uh, I'm at about four notches of reverb there, so you can have fun with that. It's a it's a pretty decent tone. It's not uh, too aggressive, but uh, really nice for the shovel. So uh, yeah, there it is. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really do appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon.